So the next item we're going to look at is how we can actually work out cross-sectional areas of a two-dimensional profile. This could be um, a sort of layout of a building, perhaps, where you've got overlapping volumes in walls. could be an area of a sheet metal part. That might be something you can use it for. So if you just open up that document, I'll just move this one down. So I've got my flat pattern. You'll notice if you double click, you can do zoom to fit. So similar kind of tools that you'd find in SolidWorks. If I click this item, what I've done, I've converted it to a polyline. So rather than having all the lines as individual lines, I've actually converted them all in. So if I just explode this out, just hit the little bomb icon, you notice all my toolbars are scattered around the screen. Um, if you wanted to make a polyline from this, you can click on the command window, and if you type in P edit, and then it asks you, would you like to turn this into a polyline? I can just hit Y. Um, and then if I hit J, so I actually want to join these all together, it will ask me to select the entities. So then I can box select what I want. And then if I hit return, I should have picked all that as a polyline. I think I've missed a bit there, so if I just explode that again. So, in fact, if I just, rather than you seeing that again, if I just fire it back open. So, we've now got this as my polyline. So, the command that you use for this is actually get area. So, you can add points, you can specify entities, and you'll notice any time you've got the capital letter in front of the icon, it tells you what you're looking for. So, if I just hit E, if I specify the entity, if I pick the entire polyline, it gives me the cross-sectional area based on your unit system that you've specified. If I hit return, I can now choose to subtract this void in the middle. So if I just hit S and return, and then if I hit E, so I can pick what I want, it now actually removes it from the overall perimeter. So hopefully that's something you guys might want to get familiar with if you're working out cross-sections. So you can either add or remove the entities.